cooking with the Cricks. I'm Serge Kokorian, and today I have a very special guest, Alicia Curtis, a very successful businesswoman in Central Arkansas. Tell us a little bit what you do, Alicia. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Um, well, I started out in politics, and about four years ago, uh, I decided to do a just for fun blog uh -huh. and to kind of express myself and have an outlet outside of the world of politics. And so I uh, started partnering with um, charities and bi local businesses around uh, Central Arkansas to partner and do things like I'm doing today. And it's just uh, a fun thing that I can do outside of my everyday life at work. And you know, one of the things I'm gonna tell you when, when the pandemic hit, you were instrumental in helping a lot of businesses. Could you tell a little bit of the audience so that they know what, what you did? Absolutely. Well, thank you for saying that, Serge. Um, I work at the Department of Commerce, and I uh, do legislative affairs and communications there. And during the pandemic, when that hit, it was all on deck to help businesses um, get back on their feet and uh, support those who became unemployed due, due to the pandemic. And um, uh, my friend here gave me a call and we worked with uh, this business here to help hopefully get them back on their feet. And it's so good to see you thriving again. Well, I'm well, so proud of you guys. We are so appreciative, and uh, we, 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 we just couldn't have done it without all the help Thank in you. reality. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, when we come back, we're going to start cooking. I'm so excited. All right, Alicia, we're ready to go ahead and start on the salmon. I got yes. a nice sockeye salmon, and it is uh, it is one of my favorite salmons. And, you know, you've got the king salmon, which is my favorite. It, but sockeye is the second, which is from Alaska, uh, and it's really, really good. You can see the color. It's vibrant. It's an actually, this one in particular is uh, wild caught, and uh, and what I'm going to do right here and just put a little slit, slits. Oh, okay. In, and what I, the reason I'm doing that to keep the the skin from seizing and buckling. Okay, and I'm also going to chew a little bit. Technique. There you go. A little bit of salt right there. Go ahead and put a little bit of salt on there. Go ahead and season the other side. Okay. And looks like my oil is about ready and I'm using a little bit of grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil. I'm going to go okay. ahead. Put it anytime you're gonna cook anything, make sure you put it away from you. That way it doesn't splatter you. It's it splatters the other direction. Good to and know. we I've got that going. Many a time. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. So <laughs> have I, and I still do. Uh, let's go ahead and season a little bit of pepper. Okay. All right. Up. And what? Yeah, it's easy enough. So on that, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of aromatics, lemon, lemons, real lemons. I like the char flavor of the lemons. And I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze a little bit more lemon juice in there. Nice. And there we go. All we're doing right now and letting, uh, let, it's gonna have to go ahead and cook for approximately four, four and a half minutes on one side, and then we'll turn it around and go ahead and uh, cook it for another four and a half, five minutes on the other side. Now is this on high or? This is on high. Okay. It is on very, real high heat. And uh, I'm using a non-stick spray, uh, non-stick pan, uh, pan, so that it doesn't stick in on there. But you can actually use a cast iron skillet as well. Okay. It does just as good. But this was a little bit easier. So we're yes. going to cheat today. Okay. Well, oh. this is my favorite simple meal um, that I cook on a regular basis. Um, I was so excited to see your rendition of it. Um, you said you bake it a lot. You I obviously do can do lot. that. I like it. Uh, I like it because I like the skin very crispy, and that's why I use it. But every once in a while, we do. So we, we do actually uh, bake it, and uh, when we do, we just cover it with a lot of, uh, again, aromatics in there, put some dill, and maybe even some garlic sometimes, and, and it really is delicious. While we're waiting on this, you know, you, you know, one of the things I will tell you about salmon is it's a very healthy, that's what you want, it's something healthy, that, and it's, got, it's rich in omega-3, and it's got lots of vitamins in there, and uh, really, uh, really, you know, a fantastic dish. All right, I'm adding just a little bit more oil to this, oh, and so good, smelling and good. I'm going to start basting it for a little bit to get it to cook. Okay. And while we're tell me why you chose salmon. Okay, I know it's a simple dish, but I about eight or nine years ago I started eating cleaner uh -huh. and leaner. I wanted to crank up the protein and cut out a lot of the complex carbs and things like that. And so, um, and I ended up losing a little bit of weight doing that and getting into shape and just eating 
healthier. And I've, I've kept that going for the, mm -hmm. this whole time, and it's really worked well for me. But I do eat a lot of salmon. <laughs> well, <laughs> and, yeah, it really is. It's, it's, it's such a wonderful, it's, it's an easy cook. And it's very forgiving, in my opinion. And it's every time it's delicious, as long as you don't overcook it. That's the key. Isn't That's it? right. Yeah, you don't want it to be too dry. No, you I don't want it to be too dry. I like it. I um, cook a lot of chicken. I cook a lot of pork tenderloin. But my favorite dish is salmon. I, I do a lot of Caesar salad, and then I'll do it by itself like this with the Brussels sprouts or asparagus. I do that as well. Well, so. speaking of that, let's go ahead and go to the asparagus. Well, it, this is going to need about another three, four minutes uh, okay. on that side for it to be medium rare. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the asparagus. I got this pan right here. If you would go ahead and this is simple. You wanted something healthy again. Go all ahead right. and put it in so there. I'm going to spread the Brussels sprouts all over. Across. There you go. There we go. And add, add a little bit of olive oil. Uh, go ahead and dig in with your hands right now. Go okay. ahead, a little bit of salt. Stir, yep. stir it up. Okay, yep. stir it up yeah, here. Let's, I like playing yeah. with our food, folks. It's so much more fun when you play with your food. When you have gloves, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, because guess what? You can shed them, and we're ready to go. All right. Um, Alicia, this is a simple, again, you want it healthy, one of the healthiest vegetables. What I started off, I blanched these. Uh, the way you blanch vegetables, uh, it's just you boil the hot, hot water, add a little bit of salt in there, and drop them in there for about three, four minutes. What it does, it keeps them crispier, and it also keeps them keeps that flavor, uh, the, the the color greener. And and uh, once you take them out, when we take them out, we drop them in ice, we shock them, and then afterwards, what we did right there, just like you saw, a little bit of olive oil, uh, salt, pepper in the oven for about 15 minutes. When it comes out, we'll add a little bit of my maple syrup. Oh my goodness! And Thank one you. more minute in the oven, okay, and it's ready to go. We're ready, about ready to finish it. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Uh, dill in here, fresh dill. Okay. As you can see, when you were walking inside, uh, you saw where I got lots of uh, uh, fresh herbs growing outside, and the, yes. and that's that's why. That way, anytime I need a little bit of uh, fresh herbs, I can get it and uh, yeah, go ahead and store. finish it. That's right. It's right in front of the store. Just baste it a couple more times, and I believe this is ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and get it out. That looks delicious. And try it. Ready? I'm ready. You got a fork right there? All right. I'm gonna do that there. You get one on one side. Oh and my it's goodness. Nice, flaky. Very tender. Delicious. Mm -hmm. That is so good. I made, I'm made it, I, hate to, I hate to say this, it might need a little bit of salt, and that's okay. It's okay. All I right. don't I don't exclude salt. No. <laughs> yeah, let's go one more bite. That is so tender. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Thanks, Serge. I took a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to steal your recipe now. Uh, you can have it. And thank you very much for being on my show. I have had a blast. No. Now I want to eat all of it. That's all it. of the things. Go for it. Okay. It's all yours. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this recipe, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. I'll see you next time.